Yogi. I'll scare your mother. Yes, it's that time again. Time for Halloween. Yep, so let's check this Halloween email. Go! Dear Colbad, what do you think about the Nightmare on Elm Street series? Did someone say A Nightmare on Elm Street? I love that series. Even more than Friday the 13th. And since I did a countdown of them last year, I'm going to do a countdown of these movies. So welcome to Colbad's Top 9 A Nightmare on Elm Street. Warning, this top 9 contains gory scenes, spoilers, and gory spoilers. Viewer discretion is advised. Number 9, A Nightmare on Elm Street, the 2010 remake. Oh dear lord, this film sucked. I mean, God, there are so many things wrong with this stupid movie. First, Michael Bay. Yeah, this guy just keeps putting out crap after crap. But strangely, he has put out some good movies. I can name one right now. Friday the 13th, the 2009 remake. And that made number two on my top 12 of Friday the 13th. But he just keeps putting out crap after crap after crap with his stupid stereotypes. And ugh, he just sucks so much. And if you still think he's good, um, come back after he crops out that TMNT movie. And if you're viewing this after it released, it sucked. Did it? Did, did it suck? If it was good, then um, good job, Michael Bay. But if it sucked, you, you, you suck. Second thing wrong was Robert England was not Freddy Krueger. What the crap? Freddy Krueger, Robert England were perfect for each other. And who did they get to replace him? No, it, it wasn't Matt. The new guy was Jackie Earl Haley. To Mr. Haley, I'm sorry, but you were no Freddy Krueger. And also, the makeup. The makeup sucked. I mean, look at it. It looked like they just slapped it on him. This movie just sucked more and more. Number 8, A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, Freddy's Revenge. Wow, this movie can be summed up in just one three-letter word. GAY! And you think I'm using that wrong the wrong way? Um, look up the documentary, Never Sleep Again. They say them themselves. This movie was GAY. Gay as a gay cast gay. Gay. Gay over gay. Was gay. Gay the gay gay is gay. Gay as a gay cast gay. gay. And you want to sleep with me? So, that's it. The movie was gay. Number 7. Freddy's Dead. The Final Nightmare. This one was way too silly to be taken seriously. The Wizard of Oz, the Spike Park, and worst of all, the Power Glove. I love the Power Glove. It's so good. And the final slap was the way Freddy died. In the other movie, they always kill him in different ways, but they all amount to about the same way. Take away his power, return him to his mother, and the best one, in my opinion, using holy water. But this one, they kill him with a pipe bomb. And also, just like in Jason Goes to Hell, the whole relative that he never talked about. And also, um, just like every series of movies, can't hold on to the same name title, can't they? Number 6, Wes Craven's New Nightmare. A lot of people like this movie, but for me, I just couldn't get into it. First off, the cover really ticked me off. You see that awesome robotic razor glove? Yeah, he never used it. Never. Not even once. Second, the whole trench coat thing really didn't work out. And third, they should have done a better job with the whole Friday coming out into the real world. They could have a scene where he comes in and kills Wes Craven. That would have just been epic. But they didn't do it. And that's why I didn't really like this movie. Number 5. A Nightmare on LC Part 5. The Dream Child. Wow, uh... This film was kind of a film fart. Uh, I can't really remember what happened. I remember there's something about an 
Freddy wanted to bang someone to make an evil baby. Um, she wanted to put him back as mother somehow. This one got really confusing because of the name title. There are three movies with all the same name. Dream Child, The Dream Master, and The, the Dream Warrior. Dream, dream, dream. Dream up a better title. Number 4. The Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4. This part takes up after Part 3, with all the survivors except for the main girl getting killed off. But this girl is tough. Come on, Freddy, step up your game. This girl has survived for three movies. Not even Nancy from the first movie has lasted this long. But don't worry, she finds more beat meatbags to be her defense. Number 3. A Nightmare on Elm Street. This movie was great. Nice setup, good suspension, and Johnny Depp gets killed. <laughs> that douche needs to be taken down a peg. But this movie is very, very dated. The acting's bad, but I still like the movie. Number 2. A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3. The Dream Warriors. This movie is just great. Awesome setups, good suspension, great kill-offs. The characters are not just useless meat bags waiting around to be killed by a cordless phone. Each one of them have some kind of awesome dream powers. But in the end, Freddy's powers are always too much. But the best thing in this movie, by far, is boobies! Enough said. And the number one movie in my top nine, A Nightmare on Elm Street series, is... Oh, why am I dragging this out? It's Freddy vs. Jason. <laughs> I really, really like this movie. I think I like it so much because when I first picked it up, I thought it was going to suck, like, really bad. But after watching it, it was just so awesome. I love the fight scene. I love the build-up. I love every single little thing about it. This is why Freddy vs. Jason, yet again, is number one on the top nine, A Nightmare on Elm Street. You suck!